On our RP330 uh, resurfacing machine, we have a Citroen Relay Stroke Ford Transit 2.2 crankcasing. It's been giving the customer a hell of a lot of problems, um, overheating and throwing water out of the edit tank bottle. Um, we've done a pressure test on the cylinder head, that was fine. And now we've moved on to the crankcasing. And we've looked at this crankcasing and believe that it's pretty uh, out of shape. It's bowed, bent, twisted. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a couple of passes and um, that will most likely start to clean up some of the crankcasing and show us where the high spots are and also where the low spots are and um, we're not going to do all this as one film because it'll take a while but we'll do the um, we'll do the beginning of it and then the uh, finished um, process the finished result so we'll start the machine we're going to hand feed it this machine has a couple of different modes you can actually put it in Travis where the machine turns it itself and moves, it moves the cutting head or you can actually um, hand feed it by these hand handles here so we're going to put the water on Machines catching the face at different points, which is telling us that the block is warped. If it to stop spinning, there's a fair bit of uh, centrifugic force on this head. That's why you've got to keep hold of it. Let's have a look what we've got. Well, I hope you can see with the camera the machine has caught the block here and here. These zebra stripes are the original um, factory finish. Uh, our finish is a bit smoother than that and it's caught it here and here so that's telling us now that this um, crankcasing has a bow in the middle. It's, um, I wouldn't say it's, it, uh, it is excessive but it's not unrepairable and that's a lot of what we do here. Um, we make things right that need a fair bit of work. So we'll um, carry on refacing this and show you the finished result. <laughs> 